79 Cougar there. These were the companion to the Ford Thunderbird 77, 78, 79. Down the Ford row. Have a Mercury Sable Wagon. No entry, broken door handles. Just amazing for being 30 year old car. It's pretty modern. Ford took kind of a gamble with a big redesign on these, and it's pretty, pretty similar in a lot of ways to what we're still, still driving around in. Quite amazing. Although the full length front headlight, I don't know if that quite caught on all the way to now, but 1991 Sable GS Wagon. Here's kind of a heartbreaker. Got a maybe 79 or so LTD two door. Kind of a shame to see it like this until somebody put rims on it. Worked on it under the hood a little. She's got a pretty, pretty rusty roof underneath what used to be the vinyl top. 79, that's the first year that body style was out. And that was really pretty a durable, iconic design too. They used that basic platform into the 90s. Kind of a neat car, really, being a two-door. Got a bullet hole there. That roof. Picking some rust, and it's come down into the trunk. The old silver. Ford Tempo they're hiding out. Don't see too many of those anymore. Down the rows, down the rows. Mustang, Mustang. Here's a taxi that's booked its last fare. Kansas City, Missouri. How did it get down here to Wichita? Got the meter. This was a cop car. Got the certified 
140 mile an hour speedometer. Shame the roof light got whacked. I would have liked to had that for some garage art. 2007. Brown, kind of an odd color. Must have been a administrative car, detective car or something. Pretty... Pretty rusty for Kansas City, though. <laughs> Not surprising. And then here we have a 1986 Mustang LX convertible. It's kind of a kind of a shame this car got junked. Like a good project for a kid car. This one's got the 140 speedo, if you're counting in kilometers per hour. It's kind of a neat relic of its time. Got the little dome-shaped LED lights. You got low fuel or low washer fluid. Maybe a headlight out. The latest of 1986 technology would tell you. This is the V6, it would appear. Wow. Shame this car got scrapped because it's really, really a decent car, but. The average guy probably wouldn't tolerate that motor in it. They'd want an LS swap or a 5.0 or a Coyote or whatever. Whatever it is the kids are doing these days. Very little trunk space. Nineteen eighty six, that car would have been an antique in about three months. Quite the carnage on that focus. That car is folded like a taco. Six Grand Marquis. Just excellent shape for it came here clean body, clean under the hood, and clean inside. But to the average person that's not a car guy, like you and me, it's just another old car. Even the vinyl top was still good on that one. Slightly newer variant of the Grand Marquis, the 88. This one's taken a pounding in the front, though.
another X Police Crown Vic 2011. upholstery and the rubber floor that was a genuine police interceptor guys and gals that's it thanks for watching this was Wednesday October 14th you pull Ford section Lost souls in the stack. There's last call. Inside that building is the crusher. Up comes the car. Into the smasher it goes.